Hey guys, how to stop lip stain from peeling. So I'm gonna share with you guys a really awesome hack or trick for you to stop your lip stain. Like me, you may like the concept of it, of oh yeah, it lasts all day, don't have to reapply color, and it doesn't transfer onto things. All of that is great. But then when you actually go to try it on, it's so sticky. It dries your lips out. They feel like shriveled and like a raisin. They crack, there's like lines. It like shrinks them. Like you'll notice it makes your lips look smaller. Then they start to peel and flake and just, it's just a big mess. You want the lastingness, but you don't want the effect that it has on your lips. So if you have that problem, keep watching because I'm gonna show you a live demonstration of how to totally prevent this from happening. So we have our 16 hour lip stain here. I'm using um, Rimmel London. So the first thing you want to do is you really want to exfoliate the shades out of your lips. You don't want any trace of dead skin at all on your lips because guaranteed that's gonna flake and crack if you put this lip stain on it. So the best budget friendly way to do this is to just get a damp face cloth and just, just do this. It's just like Throw a crap out of your lips. Like, uh, you want absolutely zero dead skin left. All new, supple, plump skin. This is also gonna like puff your lips up and make them just, mm, you know, mm, so juicy looking and just ready to go for your lip stain. Okay, so we put the lip stain on. It's good, you know. Going hard on this lip stain. Gonna look luscious today. Mmm, baby. Okay, so please excuse my makeup skills if it's not like a perfect. But I wanna show you guys just how sticky this is. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Like it it's so sticky. And it's so like drying, like you could feel it contracting your lips. My lips look dry now. You can see the lines in my lips. They look cracked. Can you see that? You don't want to go out like this. Like you don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable going out like this with my lips feeling shriveled and constricted. Next, you're just going to want to let this dry to let the whole stain proof thing, to let the whole transfer proof property activate or whatever because you don't want to just m mess with that. So I let it dry for a couple minutes, but it's still just like so sticky. Then, and this is my secret hack that I use for all of my lip products. You're gonna need this. It doesn't have to be this particular brand, but you're gonna need some kind of a healing ointment that's specifically designed for dry, cracked, chapped skin. Not a lotion, not a lip balm, not a lip chap. I've tried all these things. They're not as good as this type of thing, which is a healing ointment specifically designed for like really severely cracked skin. It has the right ingredients in it in order to fix this problem. If you want a vegan version, check out CeraVe. They have a healing ointment as well that's totally vegan. Unfortunately, this isn't vegan. I'm just using the rest of it up. So you're just gonna wanna take some of that here. Mm. I'm gonna show you how it looks. It looks, it looks like a Vaseline. Like it looks like a Vaseline. It does have Vaseline in it. It has things that are really like thick and they're gonna like coat your lips and seal the moisture, bring the moisture back into your skin and your lip. So you're gonna put that on over top of your stain. Already, it just feels amazing. Like it feels so much better. Oh my God, that feels so good. Just stick around for a little bit more with me so you can see the total after effect of how this affects your lips. And you're gonna wanna just let it soak into your lips. And you'll notice after a few minutes, it will have plumped your lips up and just re-moisturize them again, returned the moisture and you won't have any cracks or like lines. It'll be all be like puffy looking again. You know how your lips can look puffy and moisturized? That's what this stuff is going to do for your lips. I mix 
all of my lip balms with this stuff. I mix my lipsticks with it because it has this effect of keeping your lips hardcore moisturized for hours at a time. And so it also works with lip stain. You're not gonna have the peeling. You're not gonna have the cracking anymore. It's going to completely change your lip game. Okay, so here's how they look now. Notice how much more plump they look. There's not as many cracks or lines. And look at that. No more stick, baby. We'll just do the transfer test here, which is a classic lip stain type of test. I have a piece of luxurious toilet paper. Okay. I don't see much transfer there. Amazing, amazing. I'm telling you guys this stuff, oh, life a saver. If you guys are interested in any more beauty tips, like for instance, how to actually get bigger lips permanently and naturally without fillers or injections or surgery, check out my video about derma rolling and how derma rolling completely changed the appearance of my lips and made them appear so much bigger, so much fuller and plumper with just three uses. I'll have that linked at the end of this video on the end card. And if you want any other beauty tips or hacks, definitely subscribe to my channel. I have videos like that.